look at the fangs on that spider. Spider's in position, it's time to do it. Three, two, one. Oh, ah, he gave me a full tank of venom. Wow, that one hurt. I've been working with spiders and other crazy looking invertebrates for years, and I've taken my fair share of bites. Oh, there it is. It's, ah, oh, ow. Yeah, that was it. There we go. Oh! But there is one giant spider that's been on my radar ever since I started the channel, and I've always wondered just how bad the bite was. And that is North America's largest true spider, the fishing spider. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I'm out here in a huge patch of elephant ears because this is fishing spider territory. The fishing spider gets its name because this arachnid actually goes fishing. These spiders hunt near water, and sometimes even on top of water. The species I'm after today is the banded fishing spider, which likes to hang out on the large elephant ear leaves that overlook the creek that runs through my backyard. While these spiders are fairly common in rural areas, they rarely venture inside human dwellings, and are seldom encountered unless you're actively out mucking around in creeks. So bites are extremely rare, but the fact that these animals actually hunt vertebrates like fish and frogs makes me wonder just how potent their venom is. And right here, on the leaf of an elephant ear, we've got our test subject. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's a big male. I mean, compared to my hand, look at that spider. That is nuts. Now these guys are lightning fast, especially the males. Oh, he's already seen me. Oh boy. And he jumped. Let me grab a container really quick before he gets away. Um, they are quick and they can be gone in a flash. Okay, I pretty much get one shot at this, so I have to go quick. Move fast. Okay, okay. Got him. That is a abandoned fishing spider. A very exciting creature to find. Now for the not so exciting part where uh, I attempt to bite from this guy. But before I do that, I wanna demonstrate something really quick. I wanna actually show you that this is not something that even if it does get in your house, that actually wants to try and get you. Ooh, look at the fangs on that spider. Now I'm in no immediate danger, but I gotta admit, even though they're not harmful, they are one intimidating spider to look at. How about that? But have a look at him, he's just sitting there. If anything, if I poke him, he jumps right off. This is not an animal that wants to mess with us. This is actually really hard to get him to stay put. These spiders are fast, they are flighty. And the thing about fishing spiders is I'm not even sure where a bite would occur in the wild. Most of these spiders are found near water outside. They usually don't come in your house. And if they are, they're, they're not gonna hide. Like I said, they're not gonna hide underneath clothes. They're not gonna hide underneath boxes. They're not gonna hide in your shoes. So accidentally squishing one and causing it to bite is really not gonna happen either. What's kind of interesting about that is I don't know if we actually know too much about how bad the bite of these spiders are. We know they're not significantly venomous. So I don't expect it to be much worse than the wolf spider. But bites on humans from the fishing spider don't happen that often. This is not an animal that you need to be afraid of. These are not monsters that are out to get you. But if you provoke them, they can defend themselves. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to provoke this spider and we will see just how bad the fishing spider bite is. All right, spider's in position. It's time to do it. Three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, almost. I think I felt something there. Scared me a little bit there. If he did bite, it was centipede level, which was just an ant bite. I saw his fangs flare though. We'll have to try this again. Ready, one, two, three. There you go. Oh, ah, yeah, there it is. Ah, ah, it's itchier. It was, so much itchier than the wolf spider. Wow, that itches. Oh, I can feel it. Good job, buddy. Oh, that is a tingly, itchy bite. It is so itchy. It is like an intense version of the bark centipede. The bark centipede was a, a, a slight sharp sting and then a, an intense itch. And wow, that venom itches. It's like a mosquito bite times 30. Oh man, you can see my my wrist there is starting to get red. It's starting to get red. That is a tingly, 
pokey, prickly venom. The pain was not much at all. Um, I expected a lot more from this spider. I kind of want to try it again, just to be sure. I want to make sure that I got a proper bite and not a dry bite. So uh, I think I'm going to attempt it again. It is hot. And once again, this spider is proving to be challenging to get to bite, just like the wolf spider. But different kind of challenging, because every time I try to pin him, he jumps. Every time. You see that? Every time. He jumps. Where did he go? There he is. All right. One more attempt. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's still biting. Hold on, can I get a... Oh, 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 he's digging in there. Oh, that one was tough. That time, after I let him go, he stayed in there and he gave me a full tank of venom. Wow, that one hurt. It still wasn't wolf spider bad. I would say at its worst, the pain is about a six, but there is a lot more, there's a lot more to this venom than I experienced the wolf spider. Ooh, you can even see where it went in. There's a little bit of blood. Yeah, he gave me a chomp there. That was nice, gnarly. That was a bite that told me, hey, quit messing with me or you're gonna get even worse. That is the bite I'm talking about. Wow, my arm itches. I will say one thing though. It feels like, it feels like I was out in a mosquito-y section of the woods for like an hour with no bug spray. It itches like you would not believe. It's been a few minutes. You can see my arm is red and blotchy, but only in the spots where I was bitten. And I'll tell you, the area where I got a full tank, right on the forearm, is really raised up and really itchy, but the pain is completely gone. In fact, that puffiness right there is actually my body releasing histamine. If you're ever bitten by one of these spiders by accident, the absolute best uh, first aid to get that itchiness down is gonna be Benadryl. Over the next few hours, the redness and welts from the fishing spider bite disappeared, along with any fear that I once held for these intimidating looking spiders. The area where his fangs punctured my skin actually bruised up a little bit. Mechanical damage from the massive fangs of this incredible arachnid. But I experienced no ill effects, and I'm still alive to tell the tale. Believe it or not, this might not be the craziest thing that I've done on my adventures out in the wild. Down in Louisiana, I tracked down one of the biggest and most venomous rattlesnakes in North America. If you want to see that video, check it out right here. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.